We camped out for the night at Marl Springs. We pushed hard up the trail because the weather forecast called for extreme wind event gusting up to 50 miles per hour. So with good effort, we made it up to the halfway point, 70 miles on the Mojave Trail, plus the 100 miles we had to travel on the freeway to get to our start point at Camp Katy. So a total of 170 miles on day one that started at 3 a.m. the previous morning. We slept in till about 8.30 a.m. Then we started packing up. I slept like a champ in my tent cot. Feeling good, I got some coffee in me. Then I inspected little brother. Checked the fluids, got everything strapped down, got ready to roll. Day two was going to be a windy one. And like the day before, we won't be able to explore as planned. Today we switched the goal. The new goal is to get to the end of the Mojave Trail and assess the wind. If the wind is good and won't blow our camp across the desert, we will camp at Fort Paiute. If the wind is bad, an estimated 50 miles per hour, we drive to the end of the Mojave Road, take Highway 95 to Old Route 66, and head home. We'll see how it goes.
up here. It gives you that feel like you're up in uh, New Mexico or Flagstaff or something like that. It's really nice. We've got a picnic table. We want to come eat lunch here.
There's the old fort right there. And then there's the other one. What's this? Ancestral home. Traditionally, tribal members moved around with the seasons to hunt and gather food around as far as San Bernardino Mountains by the 1850s. They were also farming and planting crops near Private Creek and other springs and returning here later to harvest them. There's the water. And it's flowing nicely from up river, or from the spring. Let's go take a look at the spring, if we can find it. We just came out of there. We determined that the wind was getting worse and it was getting too windy to camp, so we headed for the end of the trail, 23.7 miles away. I tried to film us airing back up our tires, but the wind kept knocking down the camera. It was blowing 25 miles per hour with gusts up to 60. After we aired our tires back up, we rechecked our fluids, made sure our straps were tight. We headed back home using the favorite road, the mother road, Route 66. If anybody wants to go next year, hit me up. We'll do it again first week of March 2023. Thank you for watching.